Well guys, I did it. Enough of you agreed with me in my video the other day where I was like, should I pull my onions? I want them to die, but maybe they have more life in them. And even if it was just two of you that agreed with me, that was all that I needed. So this morning I came out and I pulled them up so um, the roots would just dry off before I, you know, out in the sun. And now I'm gonna harvest them in. We are supposed to get rain tomorrow. Oh, that's one tip I haven't shared with you guys. If you are going to be harvesting your onions, try to do it during a dry spell. Like, don't water them for a while before you harvest them. Definitely don't water after a heavy rain. So it's going to rain tomorrow. That was another indication that today would be a great day to harvest my onions. So let me pick these all up. I'll show you what we ended up with, and then I'll take you over and show you how we're curing them this year. Guys, what a fantastic onion year. And this is my, all my sterlings have already been harvested. So this is my copra pile and my red wing pile. I'm really, really happy. Um, I think it's very close to what I got last year. I'm very excited about the copras. Um, they're a 10 to 12 month storing onion if cured properly. So let's head over now to where we're curing them and I'll show you um, our setup and about the timing that we cure. So when I harvested the sterling onions, um, I had harvested some of uh, the red wings and copras that were done. And I've got them laying on this pallet table. It just has a lot of airflow. Last year I kept it in my garden shed and I think that was a little too closed up. So this year we're here underneath the carriage barn and we get good crosswinds through here. So I think this is gonna work out better this year. I also have Behind me is, um, behind you guys, is a bunch of wooden slat boards on the corn crib that I can use as storage areas as well. So we're gonna just get to hanging. Ah, don't fall.
pretty. We grew onions again this year. <laughs> That's what I, my hands are smell, everything smells like onions now. Yes. You did a great job on our onions this year. Thank you. Isn't it amazing how beautiful vegetables can be? They can be absolutely stunning. Like this is a work of art. Why didn't we think of hanging them on here before? I know, I have no idea. It's so it's cute looking. Perfect. Um, and we did get a comment last year, like, wow, what are you guys gonna do with all those onions? So we eat a lot of onions, like a lot, a lot of onions. And to be honest, if you go back and watch last year's harvest video, we put up a very similar amount and we had, we had to buy before this year's mm -hmm. onion season was ready. So <clears throat> we'll see how far we can push this harvest. Um, but I'm excited, we did good. And I don't think we had much of anything at all last year as far as waste. I mean, over the winter no. and into spring, maybe maybe like five or six of our yeah. onions, we went to use them and they were just mush and rotten. Yeah. We had to throw them out, but the rest of them, we ate them all. Yep, right. And so a lot of, like I said, the sterlings that are left over from making maple jam are the onion jam. We're gonna dice and freeze. Mm -hmm. A lot of these red onions will go back into pickled onions or spaghetti sauces, cooking type things that we need onions for, for canning. And then, but mostly the copras, these ones will be our storage onions. So I'm glad. Uh, I hope you guys stick around to see how we grow them next year. I actually think I might try something different. Oh no. I'm always up for learning something new and just pushing my luck. So we'll see how it goes, but yeah, I'm happy. Yeah, me too. Did a great oh, job. Oh, and, um, and just in case you're interested, where do we get them from? Dixondale. Um, Dixondale Onion Company, I guess, or Dixondale Farms. Yeah, Farms, yeah. I think. They're a super reputable onion distributor. We buy them as starts, um, not as sets. Thanks, guys, for watching and coming along. I'm so happy the raised beds are clear and I can with good conscience, start my fall garden. <laughs> now you gotta mm -hmm. have a plan. I do, I All think. All right, <laughs> stay tuned. Bye guys.